Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and in today's video we're going to talk about two of my favorite things to talk about, business and credit cards. Whoops. We're going to talk about business credit cards in today's video. We're going to talk about seven hidden benefits about business credit cards and why you guys should consider getting it. But before I start this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning by to another video. We just hit 20,000 subscribers pretty recently, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support and your love. I really do appreciate it. Now, let's get straight into the video. You know, I, th I think it's safe to say like business credit cards, it's not really a hot topic. You're, you're not really going to have this type of conversation with any anyone in person the demographic of people looking into credit cards for the benefits and then the the likelihood that you're going to talk to someone about business credit cards within credit cards is a very very small demographic so it's always nice being able to have this type of content or just be able to talk to someone about this stuff even if it means just talking to a camera in my room by myself in the dark. I made a list of seven reasons why you guys should consider getting a business credit card. I have it written down all right here. And I think to start off, number one, the reason why you guys should get into a business card is because it's easy to get a business card. One of the biggest misconceptions out there is that it's hard. Just because you guys aren't making a six to seven figure income online or you're not a drop shipping guru or you're not this Amazon FBA mastermind, it doesn't mean you're not eligible for business credit cards. Actually, a lot of people are. And if you guys just apply, put in the correct information, you'll find yourself getting accepted for these cards just like any normal credit card out there. So I think one of the biggest misconceptions that I want to clear the air of right now is that you do not need to be a multi multi millionaire for a business credit card. If you guys want to get a business credit card, all you guys need to do is watch this type of video and stick till the end and also drop a like on this video. Now, you guys need to understand that business is a pretty loose term. I say this quite a bit on my channel, and it is true. You do not need to have a fully operational business with a hundred people in your factory going crazy. You just need to be able to show the credit card issuers and these bank issuers that look, I may not have a successful business right now, may not be making a ton of money with it right now, but I am interested in getting this card. So when I do start a business or when the opportunity arises for a business to start or when I'm ready to sell some lemonade outside of my house, I want to be able to have that ability of using these business credit cards that you guys offer. For number two, you guys, simply put, business credit cards just offer you way better value and benefits compared to their personal counterpart. So a good example is like the welcome bonus offer. So the Chase Sapphire Preferred and the Chase Inc. Business Preferred, they're practically the same cards, but the Chase Inc. Business Preferred adds a couple extra benefits. Instead of getting a 60,000 welcome bonus offer, you can actually get 80,000 points. If you guys want to have cell phone protection, it actually comes with the Inc. Business Preferred compared to the Chase Sapphire fire preferred and the list goes on and on with these type of cards you will find that business credit cards usually offer either different benefits or more value just depending on which card you're talking about so that is going to be reason number two on why you guys should get a business credit card now, number three, I mentioned this a lot, but business credit cards don't actually affect your personal credit report. Yes, you will get a hard pull because that seems to be a common question. You will get a hard pull if you apply for a business credit card, but after that, you actually get a separate credit profile. So say you guys have to spend a bunch of money on inventory. Say you have to buy 5,000 pair of Yeezys for whatever reason, and you can either put that on your personal credit card, your Chase Sapphire Preferred, or you could put that on your ink business preferred for whatever reason say you're stuck with 5,000 units of yeezys or five thousand dollars of yeezys and you, you can't get rid of it you guys will actually not have an effect on your personal credit report because you put it on your business credit cards now this isn't for all business credit cards this is mainly for chase and american express if you guys get a card with them these cards will not affect your personal credit report so if you do accumulate some type of balance you're not going to see a reduction of your score now reason number four is actually going to be a higher credit limit people don't often realize this but with business credit cards you can get a gigantic 
credit limit compared to their personal counterpart. So every time I've applied for my business credit cards, I've noticed that I've gone a way higher credit limit than I would have with the personal counterpart. So the reason why business credit cards usually have a higher credit limit than their personal counterpart is just the fact that if you're spending business expenses, usually you're gonna have to end up spending way more money than you would on a personal level. And with business expenses, you're spending money on the idea that you're gonna get a return back in a higher amount in your income. So if I'm spending $100 a day for the cost of goods and ads, I'm expecting to get a value of $200 or maybe $300 back and also pay off my balances on that business credit card. If I'm limited to a small credit limit, not only does that affect the business owner, whoever's trying to use that card, but it also limits the credit card issuers and the merchants because they won't be able to max out their credit cards for the business expenses that they need to put on that card. So this is another great benefit of business credit cards. Usually the credit limit is much much higher. Now, number five is gonna be bookkeeping. Now, if you're self-employed or you sell things and you guys have been doing this for a while, you probably understand, uh, man, tax season, usually right around the corner. If you're not paying quarterly, you do have to pay at the end of every year for the tax season. And if you're paying taxes, you know how much of a pain in the butt it is to just get your accounting, your bookkeeping. And this is the reason why a lot of people actually major in accounting. This is definitely a headache in the United States if you own a business. And if you're doing a lot of spending, it just, it, 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 it becomes annoying, okay? And I'm telling you guys that as a business owner myself. So business credit cards actually make this process a lot easier. If you wanna be able to track your money, save your time, and be able to separate your expenses, business credit cards give you different tools to be able to do that much easier. So if I have the ability to spend on my Chase Sapphire Preferred versus my Chase Inc. Business Preferred, if I'm eating out on a personal level, if I'm going to Chick-fil-A or something, I'm gonna put that on my Chase Sapphire Preferred, and at the end of the year, when I have to pay taxes, I know, hey, that's a personal expense. Expense. But say maybe I'm getting Chick-fil-A with the whole office and I'm meeting with my clients and I know that this is going to be a business meal. I'm going to actually put that meal on my business Inc. preferred. Now, this is really dependent on how you guys want to do it. Some people just put their personal expenses on their business credit card anyways. And most people who do that actually don't have any issues. But my recommendation is to use your business credit cards the way they were meant to be. So if you guys want to keep your bookkeeping organized, you guys could actually put your different business expenses on on that business card so it makes bookkeeping at the end of the year a lot easier. Now, number six, you guys, employee business credit cards. So if you're someone who's managing a bunch of employees and you have different uh, people on your team, usually the process for getting someone reimbursed for the expenses that they have is kind of... it. It's a little annoying. So say I have an employee right now and there's a business consultation trip she needs to take to another state. She needs to pay for the Uber, the hotel, and maybe some of the meals associated with that. If I have a business credit card, I can add her as an employee card under that business credit card. Give her that card and I can see all the spending that she does. If I see that there are any fraudulent charges, usually they make it pretty easy to be able to get rid of that. And I'm gonna play this corny video by Bank of America to show you guys that right now. With a Bank of America business credit card, you're able to manage your business finances more effectively than you can with your personal credit card. And it can even help to build your business credit. No more wondering whether purchases are business or personal. Because now you have separate statements for each. Because your business credit card gives each of your employees their own account number and credit limit, you can easily track employee spending. And if an employee makes fraudulent charges, you're protected. Another benefit comes in handy at tax time. Detailed reporting delivered in a snap. Now that's convenient. So as you guys can see, business credit cards do offer that ability. Not many people know about that just because if you're scaling your business, it's not, it, it, most people aren't going to get to the phase where they have to hire extra employees. And I actually read a book on, where is this? Oh, here it is. Another book I recommend, Company of One. So this book actually talks about how you shouldn't scale too fast and you shouldn't get too many employees and you wanna stay solo as long as you can. But hey, if you are in the position where you're watching this video and you're a CEO or something and you have a bunch of employees, business credit cards give you that flexibility. You can actually track how much they're spending, be their account manager, and and you can really understand the different amount of spend that your employee is doing. So that's gonna be benefit number six. Number seven, 
variety. So when we're talking about cash back rewards, I think it's important to have a good amount of variety as a business owner. We're not going to spend the typical amount. We're not we're not maxing out the grocery category or the dining category like our American Express gold card. We're actually going to be doing different types of spend that your ordinary citizen wouldn't do. And I think those are things like ad spend, office supply runs, internet, utility bills, rent. These are all things that business credit cards actually specify on. So if you are someone who's spending thousands and thousands of dollars in these type of categories, this is what it's meant for. These are the type of business expenses where you can maximize that cashback reward value and you can end up accumulating a lot of points at the end of the day. Now, that was seven reasons right there, but I'm gonna give you guys one more bonus one, the 524 rule. So if you guys get into business credit cards, like I mentioned in the beginning, because this does not affect your personal credit report, this is not gonna affect that 524 rule that many of you guys are working around. Around. And if you don't know what the 524 rule is, this is with Chase. And if you're someone who's looking to get a Chase card, if you have opened five credit cards within 24 months, you will not be able to get a card. You have to wait until those 24 months are over to be eligible to actually just get a Chase card. But if you are someone who's 424 right now, or you're just about to go 524 and you don't want to wait full two years to actually get another credit card, what you guys could do is actually get a business credit card. And this actually works around that that rule as well too. So if you end up getting four or five business credit cards among Chase and American Express, you'll realize that this isn't gonna affect that 524 rule and you, you really have a whole bunch of time because a lot of these cards have a significant higher minimum spend requirement to get that welcome bonus. So that is another benefit, you guys. That's just gonna be a plus one on the seven reasons why you guys should get a business credit card. Well, guys, I really do hope this video helped you guys out. Like I said, this video really does apply to anyone. You don't need to have a full-on multi-million dollar business, and you could be someone who's just getting into the credit card game, and you are interested in business credit cards as well, too. I know when I first got into the credit card game, I had no idea about business credit cards and the whole potential of it, but once you guys get into the more advanced levels of the credit card game, you'll understand that business credit cards are where you guys can accumulate a lot of your points. And right now, I think I'm sitting about like, um, like 700,000 to a million points right now, like just in my lifespan of doing this for a couple years. And a lot of that actually came from my business credit cards, just because they offer some of the highest welcome bonuses that I'll find among any of my credit cards. So if you guys are interested, like always in applying for your business credit card, there's a couple ways you guys can do this. I made a full walkthrough, a step-by-step -step guide uh, this is a blog that I'll have linked down in the description on how you guys can apply for your first business card. And if you guys want to support this channel, and if you guys are interested at all in getting a business credit card, you guys could actually go through that blog and apply through those links, or you guys can check out the links down below in the description. Now, trust me, I understand applying for a business credit card can be intimidating, but this is really where you guys can level up. And this is where you guys can get a ton of cash back and a ton of points. So make sure you guys do your research, check out my other credit card business blog blogs and videos and playlists that I've made. I've made a ton of content just surrounding this topic. And if you guys are interested at all, like I said, you guys can check out those links down below in the description. But if you guys did get any help out of this video, make sure you guys drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.